What's up guys, it is BrickLover18 here today, back with vlog number 2 of 2023. This is the bi-weekly vlog series I'm making here on my YouTube channel, taking you all throughout my LEGO room, giving you the day-to-day -day insight of what I'm doing, the behind-the-scenes look, and everything BrickLover18 related. So let's jump into it. A lot has been happening here in the LEGO room, and it is just pure chaos. I've been working very hard at building the LEGO City you guys would have seen. I've uploaded two LEGO City updates now, the first one and the second one, which is really exciting. So this is kind of the stage I am at with the LEGO City. I'm working really hard to revamp it and revitalize it kind of thing, and I'm very happy with what the progress is looking like so far. Here is just a little bit of a sneak preview. Essentially, because I'm working so hard on the city, it's the LEGO room is just a mess. You know, I've got parts bins everywhere and there is so much going on so much building and it's been a lot of fun i haven't worked on the lego city in a really long time so i'm definitely not complaining so one thing that doing a lot of building for the city update has kind of shone to light is that i need to reorganize some of my lego parts system you guys know i store all of my parts within these Pappy max drawers and some of these drawers down there i've also got some parts in there as well as over here as well. And kind of what building the Lego City has just really shown me that over the years, my parts, like the quantity of parts has just really grown and it's really starting to outgrow some of these storage containers. Which is basically kind of meant that I just need to start reallocating some of the parts in some different places. Like I need to take some of the parts out of them just because if I can't find the part because it's so full, uh, that's not effective. So I've got to then, you know, make that where that, if that, I have too much of like one kind of part, I've got to make that bigger so I can easily search for the parts and, you know, I hope that makes sense. But like stuff like that. So I do have to do some reallocation of my Lego parts collection. That is something that is necessary. I do also have a ton of pick a brick cups over here back there you, you guys can see they're all kind of spread apart right there right now but i do have a bunch of those picker cups full of parts as well so i've got to do something with that and essentially i just i've got to do some work to the parks and now that i'm going to seal up the lego city uh with the tarps and stuff like that so you guys can't see underneath i'm thinking i'm going to put this storage container over here in the backlog closet which you guys can see i've got this big five tiered one that's kind of half full not you know used most effectively i'm thinking i'll maybe put that one here or even put it over here i'm not really sure yet because i feel like i could just fill it with parts and i feel like it would be very worthwhile of course i've got all my minifigure parts here as well that i've got to do something with as well but i think getting five extra drawers for lego parts would be really effective under here i'm probably going to just put a bunch of random things that i just don't need to access very often maybe some of these parts and the sets and stuff like that like i still don't know what any of that was from the last vlog i've still got so many sets to build and i'm working on a creator three-in-one video right now so that's kind of what's going on there um but essentially lots going on and i'm not going to work on doing the parts reallocation right away but it is something that is going to be tackled very shortly all right so now i'm actually going to head off to walmart i have to go to walmart for a non-lego purchase i have to pick up something um but in the walmart plaza there's also obviously like a lego section at walmart but there's also a toys r us so i figured while i'm in that area of toronto i might as well go to the lego section of walmart as well as the toys r us to see if there's anything cool or anything special that i want to pick up so i'll bring you guys along for the ride all right guys so i'm at the walmart now and just looking at the section of toys here you guys can see the empty shelves and the empty lego aisle back there i am not expecting this to be a successful trip whatsoever these shelves are incredibly bare i think there's more empty space than there is actual lego shelves interesting enough i found this set here with the sticker on it haven't seen that since the early pandemic days when there was a short supply in lego which is really interesting but you guys can see all the information there is covering up the european box and there's a ton of lego city sets but unfortunately that's pretty much it it's crazy it just seems like nobody wants these lego city sets can't explain why it definitely doesn't have anything to do with the crazy price or the stunts line or anything at all but you guys can see there isn't really just a lot of sets here and the ones that are here are not on sale there were a few clearance sets that i did miss out on but i mean it was like a dollar 86 clearance so that's nothing crazy there but any red tags definitely nothing there you guys can see there's also a bunch of the lego friends sets once again shocker as well as some lego dots and then there's just some odd sets from a variety of random themes just kind of milling about 
They did actually have this Chinese New Year set pushed to the back with the security tag on it. You know, this is a brand new 2023 set. Blew my mind that they had sets hidden back here. Like, normally when the store is this low in stock, they would start double-facing it and having just, like, sets exposed. But apparently not this Walmart. They wanted to do some hiding. And you guys can see the rest of the aisle was pretty much the exact same. All right, guys. So Walmart was a little bit of a bust. So I actually turned around, went out the door here, and I noticed there is another toy store here in the mall, one I've never been to before called Playtime Toys. So I figured I'd go check it out and see if they have any lego and unfortunately as i went in the store they did not have a single lego set very shocking considering it's a toy store i was you know expecting to see at least a few sets but just I had everything else but absolutely no Lego whatsoever. So far, two for two was a bust, so I headed back to my favorite Toys R Us and I figured I'd check out what's inside. All right, guys, so it looks like they've got some of the collectible minifigures here. They've got some of the new Series 24, a bunch of the older Series 23, and then even some of the Series uh, 22. These are priced at $4.95. I wonder if the new Series 24 are going to be up at $5.99 or not. You guys can see they've got a huge display of Lunar New Year sets here, which is really cool. Um, just a ton of the new ones here on display. Definitely some of these ones I want, but I'm not going to buy them here at Toys R Us because they are a little bit more expensive. They had a nice variety here of Jurassic Park sets. They also had this Lego art set, which is one that I really, really want. It's sold out on Lego Shop at home, so I'm going to leave it on the shelf for now, but I do kind of want it eventually, and I might pick it up. They had a ton of really cool poly bags here. I actually am going to be picking up some of these for Mini Build Monday. I have not seen some of the, you know, like the birthday car, the creator car, the panda, or that Technic one before. They had a very nice selection as well of Lego sets and fun. Fun fact, if the price tag ends in 99, it means it's an older set. And if it ends in 94, it means it is brand new. I actually didn't know that. The Lego store employee was telling people that. So if you're ever at Toys R Us and want to know what's new and what's old, look at the end of the price tag. But like I mentioned here, just a ton of Star Wars sets and the rest of the display was pretty stocked. They had a lot of Ninjago, lots of Lego City, lots of Creator. I was pretty happy. This Toys R Us normally has a pretty good stock of Lego. They even had some newer ones mixed in with the old ones. And then, of course, they had a bunch of speed champions, a bunch of the new Lego Minecraft sets. I actually love it, like that sword there, and I think I might end up picking that up eventually. And then, of course, a bunch of the adult sets off to the side. I always love looking at this section of the Lego store because I like seeing the Lego sets that they have for adults. And, of course, that one art one is really screaming my name. I do not want to be buying Lego sets today, but because it's cool and because it's out of stock and it has been and it's, you know, retired now, it might end up being one that I do buy. Ugh, I was not planning on dropping $200 at Toys R Us today, but, like, I just couldn't pass those are great deals. I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. Like this is the last chance I'll ever get the art set. Those poly bags are sick. They're gonna be for a few episodes of Mini Build Monday and like the gift with purchase was hey, just a bonus. All right, guys, I am back from Walmart and Toys R Us. You guys already saw Walmart was a complete bust, but Toys R Us was unfortunately successful. Here are the sets that I picked up here. So the first one being the Lego Art Project set number 21226. This is not a set I was planning on getting today and I paid overpriced for it because it was on sale at Lego Shop at Home just in November, but it is now retired. I can't get this anywhere. It's not available at the Lego store. They had one copy left and I, I want it really badly. I really want to build that Lego Spaceman. So unfortunately, I was not able to pass this one up and I picked it up. And I also got this bag here with four Lego poly bags in it. So uh, the first one being this really cool Technic forklift with a pallet. I love that one. I think that's awesome. As well as set number uh, 30641, the three-in-one panda bear. I also picked up the Lego Creator vintage car, which is a mini build. As well as this Lego birthday train, 30642. I was planning to get this no matter what. I, I just... You know, I couldn't resist this one. I made the decision. And then when I was checking out, she goes, hey, you also qualify for a free Lego purchase. And I was like, oh, crap, that's pretty sick. I, I did not know they had this gift with purchase. I had not seen it behind the register or anything like that. Um, So it kind of made this whole this whole purchase worth it. I, I didn't know I was going to get this. So I'm excited. So much for not buying more Lego this month, though. Like, <laughs> yikes. So I'm just finishing filming up a review of the Year of the Rabbit set, which is something I'm really excited about because technically this set has not been released yet. So I got it a little bit early, so I can't wait to get that review up on YouTube. I did move the Creator 3-in-1 stuff out of the way so I could make this video. That teaches me for setting up for a video two days early, but very excited to get this review out there. 
already there. Review is filmed, edited, and the thumbnail is now made. I've just got to upload it. This makes me think of all the other Year of the Zodiac, aka Chinese New Year sets that I have. I've obviously got the 2023 Year of the Bunny, and then up here I've got the last couple years, you know, Year of the Rat, Year of the Dog, Year of the Tiger, and I think one of the Tiger Box is, yeah, yeah, the Tiger Box is down there. But I've got the rest of the boxes up here. And then I've even got a bunch more of the sets down here that I haven't built yet. Like this one here is uh, the Year of the Pig from 2019. And then this one, Year of the Ox, which was 2021. So I guess I haven't built the last, I didn't build last year's. Um, but I built a few years prior to that. Another thing I got to do is go for a haircut. It's my hair is ridiculously long for no reason. So I'm not going to do that today, but I'm going to try a book an appointment for tomorrow to get that done. My Lego room is an absolute pigsty right now because I've been working on the city so much parts and bins and stuff like that are just absolutely everywhere. Like it is very, very chaotic. I've been filming content and TikToks and all that good stuff. So it has been really productive, but it's just led to such a mess. And I've got to do stuff for my Brooklyn store and there's just nowhere in here to even do it i filmed and uploaded the creator video now so i've got to put all those sets away and i've got to clear off the review table i've just so much in here needs to be done so i just need to spend some time tonight just not working on the city not making videos but just tidying this place up all right you guys so just like i said i was gonna do i cleaned up the lego room so i'm very very happy with how it looks it is just it's still chaotic it's still messy because there's still lots going on but it does look so much better. Another thing I'm really excited about as well is I'm actually trying something new here with the vlog camera. So I saw a really cool hack on TikTok where they basically just be like, flip your phone around because before I was using the iPhone 12, I was using the front camera so I could kind of see myself, but they said, you know, flip your phone around and use the back camera. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I honestly have to say the quality of the vlogs just looks so much better when I do it like this. So very interesting that it makes that much of a difference. City's still a mess here, but of course it is a work in progress. I've got some of the parts under underneath the city there, a whole bunch of the park area and kind of all the pick and brick cups stacked up against there because I want to do some resorting. And then I've just outlined the perimeter of the Lego room with different boxes and stuff, you know, parts that need to be sorted, God knows whatever that stuff is. Same with that, a pile of bags and a pile of cars that I'm going to put back into the city. And then some of the new 2023 sets I still need to build. I'm here at my computer and I'm trying to make a video uh, about the new announcement that Lego Dots is being canceled. I'm trying to use OBS to film it so I can do it on my computer and, you know, also uh, share my screen and all that jazz at the same time, make it easier for myself on the edit. And I started filming this video at 1020 AM. So and it's like 1130 by the time I finally got this done. So the reason it took so long is because one, when I, I started filming the first time, I filmed it for nine minutes. That's how long the clip was. I showed pictures of the set. I talked about the set, gave really, in my opinion, great commentary on the set. And then I like saved the file but I don't know what the heck I did wrong. And then I closed OBS and I must have screwed something up because when I look, opened the file in my hard drive, it was unreadable. And I was like, what the heck? So I went into the original file, which was still in my downloads. And it was four minutes long out of the nine minutes I filmed. So just the intro was there and the intro is what needed the most editing. Uh, my opinion afterwards was just like my commentary. So then I was ticked. So I was like, whatever. So I scrapped it and filmed the entire video again. This time, however, when I filmed the video back, the playback was so laggy. Like when I was filming it, I must not have realized that it was lagging on screen and you, my audio was perfect, but my face was like, uh, uh, it felt like I was buffering, even though I'm recording directly to my computer. So anyway, I was ticked. So then I spent like half an hour. I'm still trying to film this video. I'm still, I still want to do it on OBS. I wish I would have just gone to my studio, filmed it on my regular DSLR and edited it afterwards. I feel like I could have got it done faster, but I'm trying to streamline the news process because I want to do more news videos. And if I don't streamline the process, that's not going to be possible. So I went and I figured it out. I'm screwed with the camera settings. At one point, I've got the camera down to like like 720p, which is really annoying because I, I like to do everything in 180p at the absolute bare minimum. So the fact that it was down to 720 and then even that I was compressing it. So it was the picture quality part of my French just looked ass. Like it looked like a potato. So I was getting so mad. And then I filmed it again and I just like uploaded it. Like it got to the point where I, I know I'm just ranting now, but I was just so frustrated because I wanted to get this video up. I wanted to make a news video. It took me over an hour to film a four or five minute video and edit it and stuff like that. Then I'm trying to edit it and the computer's just nonstop laggy, like Final Cut's crashing. Um, it was just an 
awful experience. So I don't, I'm not a computer guy. I don't know what I was doing. My computer is a really nice computer. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Like it's not a cheap, I didn't cheap out or anything like that. I upgraded it. But I think what has just happened was I think I just had too many applications open and I was closing things, but I couldn't close Photoshop. I couldn't close Final Cut and I couldn't close OBS because those were the three things I was still currently using. So I, did, I kept everything open, but it was just laggy. And then I got so annoyed right at the end. I just yanked the plug from the computer, shut the whole thing down, rebooted it. And I downloaded Clean My Mac, which cleaned up a little bit of there was some unnecessary things there. And I just like started closing files and stuff like that. But it was just so frustrating and i i uploaded the video it's the 17th of january and i'm filming this clip right now so i uploaded the video but i'm not like super proud of it like i'm not gonna be like lie to you guys i think the quality is not the best and like the discussion corn towards the end of the video was so much better the first time i filmed it not the third like I, by the time i was i should have just scrapped it honestly uh by the time i got to the third filming just because i forgot what i was gonna say and i was just frustrated at that point you can tell i think in the video that i'm frustrated but I think now I know that if it's laggy, I can just reset the computer and it gets a little bit faster. And I think I have some strategies for next time. But like I said, I'm really trying to, you know, use OBS because I want to do more Lego news. And it's just not feasible every time, you know, if I have to sit down, mic myself up, uh, sync the audio, the lights, and then all this color correction. And like, and then if I have a computer, I've got to sync up the timestamps. Like it is a lot more work to do it that way. But I don't know. I'm going to hopefully, hopefully there's going to be more news and I'll try it again soon and I'll kind of see and hope for the best. Anyway, you guys, the rant for this video is over. If you watched that, I'm sorry. And if you didn't watch that, I don't blame you. But now let's get back to the actual Lego vlog. Now, one of the things I want to do, like I was saying earlier, is I want to resort some of the Lego collection just because it isn't entirely working for what I'm doing right now. And I also want to resort some of the closet area, get that, you know, that container out of there and put one of the other ones in. So I'm going to work on that and see what I can do to make it work. Boy, oh boy, I am editing that vlog now and it is a doozy. It is a long one. A lot has gone on in it. So that is where I'm going to wrap it up here right now because I don't want to bore you guys if you are still watching. If you got all the way here, I really appreciate it. Stay tuned because the next vlog is going to continue a lot of the storyline that I unfortunately didn't get a chance to cover in this vlog. You guys will be able to see the Lego room behind me is still an absolute mess. There's still things everywhere. I never got my Lego parts collection sorted or anything like that, but I will do it. I promise it's going to be in the next vlog. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the vlogs. I really hope you've been enjoying them so far, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here in the next video.